Uh, so there's quite a few people in there, some names I don't recognise. So um, for anyone who doesn't know who I am, um, I'm Mark from Oyster Diving. Um, and Roscoe kindly agreed to do a chat about side mount. Um, he's still, I wouldn't say relatively new to it, but he's, um, he's taken to it with an absolute passion. And we always get lots of questions about side mount, why you must do it and what's good about it and things like that. So he kindly agreed to do a presentation on it. So I'm, I'm going to hand over to Roscoe, who has done a lovely presentation for everyone. Oh. Thank you. Let me just see because in the last second, I think I have to do some technical stuff. Um, right. Join a meeting with that. Oh, come on. There no. you are. We should buy some time and there's not a coach here to meet us. Well, to all Roscoe, so can I, um, all right. Can I just ask you to all go on mute, just so there's no background noise as well, because otherwise it'll get irritating if we have kids and stuff running into our room. Just a question. Oh, is it me? Yeah. You're on there twice, Roscoe. I'm just wondering why. Okay. No. Am I? Are you still are you still echoing? You were. All right. I apologize for that. It's something that I didn't expect. I'm doing a. Um, it's my first time doing this, so if there are any technical issues during the presentation, I really apologize for that. I will try to minimize that and let's see now. Ah, all right then, I think I got it. I will disappear for a second and I will reappear in a minute. <laughs> you just wait for me. Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? I can. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, cool. Oh, great. Oh, let's start then. First, you know, thank you for for all of you. It's quite exciting, and I see that, that a lot of people have joined, and I really appreciate that. I've decided that um, you want to uh, to listen to me, what I'm about to say, and uh, I really uh, I hope that I will um, I'll be able to share some new information for you that it will be valuable for you. Um, so as we all oh, know the the topic today, uh, let me just check where am I? I have a lot of screens. And, so side mount diving um, and why you must try it. I will try with this presentation. I'll really try to um, for all the people that haven't tried because I know that I know some of you and I'm quite happy. I'm really um, pleased that there are a lot of people that I don't know. And I don't know your background, and I hope that this is something new for you and it, it will be valuable. So side mount diving and what it is and why you, sh why you must try it. Uh, I'll explain, I'll share a little bit of, uh, with you what is side mount diving, what's the equipment of side mount diving, and um, a little bit of background for me, my story, my side mount story. Um, I'll try to, there is, there is a point when I'll try to explain the benefits and the drawbacks of side mount diving, but the whole presentation will be kind of a mixture. I mean, all the time I'll be sharing stuff of my, with my experience and, um, that are things that are found positive, like, uh, beneficial or things that I don't like in, in side mount diving. Um, and then after that, I will try to share with you, okay, you know, what is um, like when, how, how you can start your journey in the, in the side mount diving. And after that, just a little bit, what's after that, you know, when, when you try, you can, what you can choose, what you can do, where to dive. And I will share a little bit of, a little bit of 
um, information, basically resources that I've been using uh, in my in my research. So I'm like in order to uh, progress in my diving. So yeah, let's let's start with what is side my side mount diving. I mean, like I think that the, the name is just self-explanatory that it is type of diving where you mount your cylinders on the side. And uh, I will, because I don't have my own video of me diving, I will share with you just a, um, like a, a short video of um, like two, three minutes of one of the, um, the really kind of a, um, famous divers, a sideman divers in, in um, that I've kind of learned a lot of from it, Steve Bogart, and just to, just to see, to show you the, the video of it, what it is. I will try to share my screen now and I hope it's going to work this time. Let me see. Oh, I cannot share my screen. Is there something that we can do, Mark, or not? Or I can just pass this one and just explain it. Ah, okay, cool. I'm ready. So, all right then. So this is the video and we'll just watch uh, just a part of it just to see what is a beautiful side mount diving. Just enjoy. So I'll stop it here because basically this continues for uh, for a longer time. But uh, yeah, stop it. So yeah, this is. I, I hope that you know you got the idea of of the of the configuration that that you have uh, with the side mount diving. Basically, is the, the cylinders on the side, which gives you a different type of freedom under the water, and uh, it's just a different configuration. A different setup of, uh, of of the different equipment that that we use and talking about the equipment what uh, again what is the equipment for side mount diving basically for side mount diving there is um there is two pieces of equipment that are new that are different than the recreational than, than the uh, back mount diving uh, like a single cylinder back mount diving and the other two pieces are similar to what we've you know probably you've already used 
but they are kind of just adjusted for the side mount diving. And what you, what we have is a harness and the wing. So the harness, I'll try it. I have it here. I have my my harness. The harness itself is the the part of the equipment that we put on on our back in order to get the the cylinders firmly attached to ourselves, to our body. And the wing, effectively, is the BCD, is the buoyancy control device, where you get, this is the, the air bladder, which you use to, to control your, your buoyancy under the water. So we need the harness in order to be able to attach the cylinders to ourselves, so they are, you know, they're not easily separated from us. And depending on our buoyancy um, characteristics, we might need the wing, you know, but we use the wing basically for, uh, for buoyancy. And then we have the cylinders and the regulators. The cylinders are the only difference is of the valves. So this is nothing that you need to think about it, but basically we use the same cylinders as uh, the normal recreational diving, uh, sorry, the normal, uh, the back mount, the single back mount cylinders. Uh, and uh, the regulators are mostly the, the same. Now you can use exactly the same uh, regulators, but just with a different configuration of the hoses. And yet again, I have my probes here. One of the differences is that we have two sets of regulators that we use. And they are attached to the two cylinders. One is with a long hose, and the other one is with the short hose. This is the, the regulator hose that we breathe. I will try to zoom, no, this doesn't work. I will try to zoom in here just to show how it looks like once it's set up. So we have one cylinder with the short hose and one cylinder with the long hose, and that's what we attach to our, to our harness. One on the left, one on the right, and we use both of them to breathe as we dive. Um, here, this is just this is my 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 equipment that I have a lot of cylinders and I have two main cylinders, my wing, and it's all assembled in the same way. Basically, the side mount configuration. It's almost. It's, oh, I'm sorry. Apologize for that. As I said, there are some technical difficulties. So this is with regards to the equipment. I mean, like basically nothing. There are specific things that you know um, the side mount divers have to configure, but again, it's the same principle. You have regulators, you breathe through them, and you enjoy the dive. The next is my side mount story. So basically, I've started with a tri dive. Once, I mean, like I've I've been doing my instructor course and uh, my open water diving instructor course and my course director or my instructor he's a side mount, side mount diver as well so i can't remember a particular reason why i've decided to to try it but i think probably i've seen him diving and i've decided that why don't i give it a try so i remember that i've tried it and after that it was just I mean, like i was really in like hooked to the to the side mount diving what i've done is after that, I've been, you know, with him, I've been diving quite a lot, quite a lot. And um, in since October 2018, when I've done my tri dive, in the period of time of one month, I have bought myself all the equipment. I've started uh, reading articles, looking at vi uh, watching videos and uh, just trying to, to learn because this is my my way of, of learning. I mean, like I, I learned very well this way. Like just to, for reference, um, about seven, eight years ago, I've learned to 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 snowboard by watching uh, YouTube videos, and I've learned how to ride a motorbike by watching videos. So it's something that it just helped me, you know, in this in this sense. And I've started researching, and I've done my own, my first own uh, side mount diving, my sound mount side mount dive, in December, two thousand eighteen. After that, in the period of I'm like up till now, I have about 130 dives. Unfortunately, you know that's quite uh, that's not a lot. I'm mean, like from 
a total of 260 dives as well, like in my diving career, which is not a lot. But out of these 130 dives, I've done 86 in side mount, which I mean, like since then I've been diving side mount as much as I can because it's really like, it, I really enjoy it. It's something that I'm really passionate about and I really enjoy it. And that's why I hope that I'll be able to, to share some passion with you tonight. And uh, just um, just something I mean, like, if you have any questions, uh, just write them in the comments and I will, you know, I'll read them. I see that the chat, so at some point I will, either I will cover them in the, in the presentation, further down in the presentation, or I'll stop and, and answer them. So yeah, just write down any any questions that come up. So yeah, this is my story. I mean, like my story is going on, and I just keep keep learning and keep uh, um, trying to improve my equipment, my diving, in order to make it more simple and enjoyable. Um, and then, I, so as I said, this is like a uh, like a slide that I will try to say why I've decided to go uh, diving side mount because why. What it what is it that uh, made me like it? Made me made me choose it as a tool to dive. So for me, the benefits because it's always when we choose something, there is something that benefits us and something that kind of a you know we have to compromise. And it's the same with side mount diving and it, or it, it, any type of diving. I mean, like uh, single cylinder back mount, uh, twin set diving, rebreather diving, whatever you choose. I mean, like there is always something that we choose the, the benefits for, and there are some drawbacks, you know, we have to compromise. So in this, in this instance, I mean, like I've decided, I dive side mount because I like the idea of redundancy. I mean, of the safety, because I have two completely separate cylinders that are one on the left and one on the right, and they are completely separate setups. So basically I have two independent cylinders and, and I can breathe from both of them. If something happens with the one, which, for 86 dives, nothing has ever happened with my, you know, with my cylinders. So, you know, I don't know, people with more diving, you know, have troubles, but I haven't had any so far. But still, you know, this is this is one of the things about the safety and the um, having having them having to choose this uh, uh, this type of diving, and then balanced and comfortable position. So, this is oh, all right. Then I'll try again. Cool. Yeah. So basically, this is in one of my dives in Honduras. I mean, like it was a really nice reef, and it's really balanced. balanced. Basically, what I have is this cylinder. And this is aluminium cylinder, which is is um, uh, you know, with the dive, it becomes positively buoyant. But having them on the sides makes my body, like the center of of the of the mass of my body, where it, exactly where I want it to be somewhere where my tor torso is so it, it's it's almost in any position that i dive i have you know this perfect kind of a position where i can be stable in the water i mean like if I'm, if i dive on left side on the right side it's always balanced if i ride if i dive i mean like uh, with um my head down i mean like it's it's again balanced so this is one of the things I mean, like I, I enjoy, enjoy it in the in the water. And I what I have diving side mount is the air bladder is on my back, and it's not there. Are no, there are not there is no cylinder on top of it, so all the air is pulling me up. So the buoyancy is well. So the air is well um, distributed on my back, and is keeping me um, lifted up in the water. Um, longer dives, I think there is like two is two is better than one. So two cylinders, like it doesn't matter if there are sevens, tens, twelves, twenties, like two cylinders. I mean, like they are more air that we can have with a single cylinder. Um, and it's the easy of access of my equipment. Basically throughout the dive, I have my valves and my, uh, I can control and if there is a problem with the valve or with the regulator, I can easily check what is the problem. I can easily shut off my, my cylinders. I can easily control how much, how to breathe the air. I mean, like I, and, and then the dive safely if needed. Again, nothing has ever happened with my diving so far, but 
but that's that's the idea of it. I can I can easily see my my equipment, and if I have to do something with it, you know, I can I can do it. About the easy entries, you know, this is something that of course it's arguable with every uh, with every equipment because it depends on where you dive, how you dive, what's the environment, what's the weather condition. But with side mount diving is what I like. I really enjoy is that. I have my buoyancy compensating uh, control device on my back, and I can float in the water without my cylinders. So basically, I have my, I can have my cylinders in the boat, and someone can pass them to me. I can have my cylinders on the ramp next to me, like on the entry point. I can have my cylinders in the water, like one meter water or whatever where the entry is, and I can clip them on one by one, which is. For me, this is one of the great benefits for it. I mean, like it's really easy. I don't need to walk around with the with the cylinders. I don't need to enter with the cylinders. Again, if I want, I can do it. It's no problem at all. But basically, that's that's it. You know, the safety of it, the balance, the longer dives that I can have, and the easy entrances into the water that I can achieve. It's just for me, it's all the kind of the main benefits that I've chosen, I've chosen. About the drawbacks, I mean, like there is, I mean, like it's, some people would say it's fuffing around, you know, with all this equipment and you're clipping cylinders and you you try to, you know, to adjust them and stuff. In a way, yes, but it's, it's only, I mean, like I think, I feel that only people that have never tried it and, or they have, or they've tried it, but they didn't quite adjust it to them are only saying that this is a problem because it's it's like like every equipment. I mean, like you start even on a single cylinder back mount and you feel that this this cylinder on your back is just moving without you be able to control it, or twins or whatever. And it's like it's it's with every equipment that you start something new, and of course you will you will see what what you like and what you don't like. And there are things that are not suitable. It's like every tool. There is a tool for for every job. Just side mount diving is a tool that can be applied to various various locations and various various types of diving so for me i have focused more on the benefits how it benefits my diving and that's why i have decided to go uh mark uh mark i i take it you don't back roll with side mount and ribs um it's well Yes and no. I mean, like you can back roll. Basically, it's it's a it's a way that you have your cylinders and the the bottom of the cylinder is just sticking out of the boat, and you can back roll. But yes, I man, like you can side roll with side mount. So it's you know it's just adjusted. It's not like the regular type of um, um, like entries. But yes, you can back roll. It's not a problem. I haven't done it, but I, I, you know, I've watched it from so many divers, so it is possible. It's not a problem, problem at all. Um, okay, let's continue then. So, I mean, like what, steel or, okay, so Damien asks steel or Ali. Um, Damien, what do you mean by steel or Ali? If you can unmute and, thanks. I mean, like, what do you mean? To dive steel or Ali? Or to what, or like which are better? Sorry. Yeah, which are better? Well, you know, is it? Um, uh, Ali's obviously going to be lighter, obviously, but um, for weight scenarios, um, with with conventional sort of BCD single cylinder, most of us are probably used to integrate weights rather than um, hip weights um, on the harnesses that you can see. There's no integrate or anything like that. So you start messing okay. about if you see what I mean. You know. So okay. So. What it is, I'll just show you quickly. So there are integrated. I don't know if you can see. There is a pocket along the spine. And that's great because you can have your weight along your back, which helps you first, again, to keep the, the, the weight um, where you want it, like closer to the, center, to, the, to the center of your body. And then you can easily adjust your position. I mean, like if you're head heavy or your leg heavy you know you can always control it and there are other types i mean like i have trim pockets which allows me to dive with um like 
um, less weight if I dive with steel cylinders. I dive with less weight and I have only the, these trim pockets. But with regards to the steels or alley, it's more about your buoyancy, like really your body. Because for, in, in my case, I am really, my, my body is negative. So I can sink like with, I can sink really easily. So in my case, I dive, I like to dive, even here in the UK, I like to dive with alleys. I put a little bit more weight, but it's more easy for me to control them. And you can see that a lot of people in the UK would dive steels because exactly because of the weight property. Um, okay, so let's let's see now any questions that I can just sneak in here. Um, Samar is very back from me. That is very back from. All right then. I mean, like LK. LK is just saying something that side mount is very back friendly. Divers with back problems choose it as well. Yes, it is because it helps only when you are properly, properly balanced. Because with I mean, like I don't I don't want to go into details, but yes, the answer is yes. If you are properly adjusted with your with the with the weights on your on your harness, it does help a lot because it does not put a pressure on, on your back. Um, and elk weight on the tanks from when they get empty. Well, yeah, I mean, like these are just, you know, now getting to the spe specifics of the, of the more, more things, but yeah, I think this is, this is one of the, the, the benefits basically is it helps you not to carry all the cylinders when you get out or when you get in, I mean, like on your back, you can take them off in the water and again, get out of the water with no cylinders or no weight at all. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'll just, just uh, because we are in the, on the cylinders topic and I see that Norman has said steel uh, stay negatively buoyant throughout the dive. Just a, just a little bit of, um, I don't know, different manufacturers. Some of them, yes, some of them, no. I mean, like my steel cylinders do not stay uh, negatively buoyant throughout the dive. They, they become a slightly positive. So it's, again, we come down to the, to the manufacturers. Uh, all the alley cylinders, they become positively buoyant. I mean, like it depends on the, um, it doesn't matter if the Catalinas or looks fair, they all become uh, positively buoyant. But steels, not all of the steels become, uh, uh, stay negative. I have, you know, I know the Faber cylinders, I use, I use eight, well, they're called apex cylinders. I've bought myself steel 12s apex cylinders. So Steve is asking a question, what do I dive? Uh, so I dive 12, 12s, 12 liters steel cylinders. And uh, after about 100 bar, they become slightly positive uh, at the bottom. Oh, and Dan is asking, how does it affect dry suit diving? Well, it affects it because you know, you depending on the cylinders, if they can, if they stay negative throughout the dive, you need to adjust your buoyancy according to that. But if they stay, po if they become positive, you need to adjust your buoyancy, your weights according to that. So, with tries you diving, you you have some some air that you can't get out, and you don't want to get out of your dry suit. You can keep having some air to prevent the squeeze. So, in that sense, you need to adjust for that as well. This is Dan asking, uh, how does it affect the price you're diving? All right, then. I mean, like, I, if, if I haven't answered in a way that you didn't understand, just let me know in the, in the, in the comments and I will, I will try to explain. But, you know, that's, that's a lot. It's a lot. I can talk a lot uh, for side mount diving, and uh, that's probably visible now. But I just, you know, this is, I, I, I want to tell you what you can do in order to experience it. And uh, here in Oyster, uh, we, we give you two, op like we give two options to everyone that decides to try. We have a pool try session, try dive sessions, and we have lake try dive sessions. And it's, it's down to you just to choose where you want. I mean, like I'll try to explain what happens in the pool and what happens in the lake, just so you can decide if you, if you would like to try, you know, just to choose which one you would like to go for. So in the pool, this is a photo of the pool in Soho. Can I zoom in? Yes. 
So this is a pool. Uh, this is our pool in Soho. I don't know. Uh, probably some of you have been here on, on your course with us, on your tri dives with us. Um, and it's a really lovely atmosphere here. We like it's really nice. The pool uh, is three meters deep on one end, and you can really enjoy it. Um, and the we dive basically the tri the you can do the tri dive. Yeah. You can do the tri dive in the. I'm sorry, I apologize, but someone's microphone is not muted, and I hear some noises. Um, okay, okay, I'll go. For, I'll, I'll continue. So in the pool, <clears throat> we do this in the week weekdays in the in the evenings. So I mean, like when you come. We will have time. We'll have uh, some time to explain, basically, to talk to talk about the the diving, to set up the equipment, and we'll have um, roughly about one hour in the water for you to try. Um, well, apparently, you know, the water will be clear. The water will be red, like warm, depending on you know now when they open the the pools. Probably it will take some time. Probably they will have warmed up the water, um, so it will be clear. It will be warm, it will be inside, and uh, you can enjoy roughly around one hour in water in water time. Uh, I don't have a photo of the uh, Mercer's Lake. This is where we dive. Uh, was it Rochester? No, Rochester. No, it wasn't Rochester. It was, I forgot where was it, uh, which area of the, of London. Can you help me with that? Red Hill, yes, thank you. Thank you, Mark Murphy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, we I mean, like we use, we exclusive ex oyster, exclusively use um, Mercer's Lake, Mercer's Lake in, in Red Hill. And you can, you can come for a day there basically. And we will have time to talk about equipment, to talk about diving, to adjust it properly. We'll have time to dive one, two, three times. And uh, sorry, uh, one time. And if you like it, we can continue like try dive. And then we can continue even more if you, if you wish. But <clears throat> the other thing is that we are dependent on the, on the weather conditions because we'll be outside, it's in the lake and uh, it will depend on the, um, it depends on the the time of the year, like depends like how was the what's the water, water temperature, but we can enjoy a longer time where we can actually you know talk and dive. So it's it's just a preference where you would like to dive. And Dan, to answer your question, what are uh, the price of the each? It doesn't matter where you want to dive, either in the pool or in the lake. It's fifty pounds. Where you know you have you will, will give you the equipment, we'll set up the equipment, and you will enjoy. Um, if you that's something that you can do. If you like it and if you enjoyed it and if you would like to do the the specialty, the side mount specialty, you will get twenty five pounds off from when you when you decide to do the specialty. So basically, you paid fifty pounds for the experience of trying side mount diving, and if you decide to go further with the course with the course. We'll get, uh, we'll give you 25 pounds off because of the the tri dive. Something that you just need to be aware that the the lake does have a an entry fee uh, which is 15 pounds. So that's that's the difference. In the pool, you don't have to pay any entrance, but in the lake, you need to consider that there will be 50 pounds entry fee. But again, I mean, like you just choose which one is more suitable for you. With regards to experience, like or with um, ease, ease of access, or something like this, so that's that's basically how you can how you can decide how you can do it if you if you would like to try. If you would like to try, just please contact any of Oyster team, me, uh, Tracy, Tom, Mark, or anyone else, um, and then you know we will organize it. I think what is it? Mark, is it the third of April, which is the first session that uh, not the first time we'll be in the uh, in the lake? I think it was third of April or something like this. Let me see. Yeah. So, so the moment uh, the indoor pools are going to open 
on the 17th of May. So that'd be Soho from the 17th of May, assuming there's no changes in the direction that we're taking. And the lake will be open from the 29th of March, which is a Monday. So we'll be there really effectively from the 3rd of April. Yeah. Yeah. So just, just so you know that, you know, this is your first option. And I expect, I mean, because it's somewhere about around March and the water temperature will be probably between 10 and 15, something like this, you know, I, I don't know, but it will be between that. So I'm between like roughly there. So you just need to consider that. Um, and yeah, if you, if you, if you, if you consider that, just let us know. I want to cover what's after that. So it's not only the try dive, but when you decide and what can come after that is there are basically, I would not say two paths. It's one path that one step leads to the other. And this is recreational diving, which doesn't change basically anything to the type of diving that you you already do if you're a certified diver, which leads to technical diving. And in recreational diving, what I enjoy is, you know, side mount diving is you can dive many places. You have the time to play with a lot of, uh, like on the reefs, with fish, with Lego, uh, with all sorts of stuff. You have the air, you have enough air. And especially on uh, shallow depths, you can spend an enormous amount of time. Um, I've, I'm like the longest dive I've done is 180 minutes and I still haven't, you know, reached like the end of my cylinder. So it's something that I, I can go for like for many, many hours. Another thing, another benefit that, you know, you can, you can use side mount for is that some of the wrecks, which are in a fairly shallow depth, like 20, 25, 30 meters, you can in Jordan, basically you can do a proper 30 minutes bottom time and you can still have enough air to go gradually up and follow your non-decompression non limits of your, of your diving and still enjoy longer and longer and longer dives. Um, this is in Malta and it's, it was just, you know, one of the places where with Oyster we uh, go from, I know that we, we organize weekends. So this is another place where you can enjoy it. And with regards to equipment in, in Malta, it's easy to find the equipment. I mean, like even, even the, if you then you don't own your own, you can easily rent there. So that's something that uh, um, the dive centers, they do have. And the other thing is I really enjoy is you basically, you don't have to hurry up with finishing the dive because you've just reached the like 50 bar or you are, you know, sneaking just below that about 30 bar or something like this. And you try to squeeze as much as you have because with side mount, you have enough time to enjoy that. I mean, like just basically relax without thinking about that. I mean, like this is one of the aspects that, you know, you always, maintain you uh, keep an eye on your air but it's not something that you need to be quite you know stressed about and the rest you know from this you can go to technical i'm saying that because side mount diving as a tool you know once you you learn it and you practice it it's an easy access to, to progress if you wish if you wish to to progress into technical diving and then you know increase your bottom time start um, pl uh, like long, um, planning longer dives, complex dives with different type of uh, uh, gas mixes, you know, just it's, it's endless story. Um, and then, you know, you can play, I mean, like, you can play with the, with, with toys, even if you are diving recreational, but, but on a technical dive, you can, you can dive various places, various di uh, dive sites on a, on a single, on a single dive. And it's just, just really um, awesome. Um, you can play. That's like that's on a on a, one of my uh, decompression stops. You know we've been just practicing um, skills, so it's great. And this is um, you know just a gathering of side mount divers. Um, it's great. So basically, you can do quite a lot of stuff. Um, the question, where can I dive side mount? I think it's more about the equipment that you can get because virtually you can dive everywhere. It doesn't matter 
if it's UK, overseas, inland, shore, or boat dives. I want to stress something about UK boat diving. I've been told, and this is something that I was really scared about, I've been told that in the UK, boat operators do not like sidemount divers. And I was I'm like, I remember my first boat dive with my sidemount side equipment, and I was really stressed because I was like, okay, you know, people will look at me and will be uh, probably moaning about it that I'm taking a lot of space and I'm puffing about and something like this. So I was really up to the point, like I'm going to enter the dive without stopping anyone. And nothing happened, basically. It was just a normal dive. No one said anything. We enjoyed it. There were rebreather divers. There were uh, twin set divers. And then I continued diving in the UK on the boats and nothing, I mean, like, actually, I did not feel any any problems with or any comments about people because you can see that rebreather divers are actually taking the same amount of space as a side mount diver because they have all these cylinders on the sides that they are, you know they are uh, they carry with them so effectively it's just you know someone has decided they don't like side mount diving on the on the boats and it, this is my opinion I'm, I'm not saying anything but i have not seen any problems i haven't felt any problems diving on boats side mount uh in the uk and even if you i'm like there's something more that when you tidy up your space on a boat it's easier to tidy up your equipment and you make it compact compact like on the on the place that you've been allocated on the boat um, so yeah, for me, it's, it's even a benefit for, for that. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, like, in there is no limit for that. And um, one thing else is that even if you dive seven liter cylinders, it's even like the weight is uh, less. It's easy to um, manipulate the cylinders, and it makes it even easier for you to enter and exit the water. Uh, so basically, there are no no limits to for me i mean like that's what i see i see it as a as a great tool that i can use everywhere um on on every dive i do <clears throat> i can you know this is this is just something that i've i've been these are the people that, that are the people that i've uh, researched i've watched i talked i talked to i learned from and these are one of the like some of the the great the great side mount divers in the I would say not in the world, but you know the ones that are most known, the, the best known for for this. And I've I've had the privilege to meet some of them, uh, learn from them, and um, uh, talk with them, like talk about side mount diving and uh, different types of diving. So I can share the names if you are really interested in uh, just watching at their videos because they have <clears throat> a lot of a lot of good examples of the what side mount diving is and how they dive. And it's really amazing to, to watch. Um, what else? Yeah, I will briefly go through the chat and see if there are any, any questions that I've missed. And if you have any questions now, you just type them in the comments and I will um, go through them. So we talked about the, the cylinders. Someone is, yeah, Ian Bruce is missing teaching in Marshall Street. I know Ian, I know, me too. Um, okay, fingers crossed, right heel, go to the dive. Tips for getting the bungee lengths right. Uh, it's, it's basically, um, Depending on the, the 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 thickness of the the bungee, because the thicker you get, you want them um, a little bit a little bit longer, and the 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 thinner you want you get, you want them a little bit shorter because basically because of the elasticity of the uh, of the material. So it's more about how you I mean, like where to reach them. It's like to be honest, I have no specific answer to that. I mean, like I need to like basically do it and and have them when you attach them because it depends on the on the type of wing you have if you have xd when you attach them to your back basically to the to the uh to the plate on your on your on your back they need to be roughly where 
where your muscles start here in front. And that's that's again roughly, but because it depends on your on your body structure. So that's what I'm saying. It's like it's it's something that needs to be adjusted basically on the on the person. Um, anything else? Damien, I see you have the X Deep harness. Was this a cost choice or did you try and review other harnesses? I have <clears throat> read a lot of articles. I haven't contacted anyone. So basically when I was choosing my equipment, I've decided purely on, on articles that I read and videos that I've watched. And I think I've asked only one person when I was diving in, in uh, Chepstow. And he, he said like, go for X Deep. And then I researched it. So it wasn't, it was not a cost choice. It was um, a choice of what equipment is considered the best, you know, at, like from some people, because the best is always relative concept. So it's something that I've decided, yep, yeah, I'll give it a go. Now, my, to be honest, I'm really keen on trying Razer, uh, another, another really uh, major uh, manufacturer of um, side mount wings. So this is something I want to try. I've heard, I've dived with instructors that are teaching Razer and it looked really sleek and uh, looked really nice. I want to try, this is something I want to try, but X-Deep is something that I've been convinced that is really great uh, um, wing and harness. The harness doesn't matter, to be honest. The harness, it doesn't matter. The harness can be developed, you can build your own harness. Um, love, harness was very comfortable, great system for me, yeah. It's it, indeed, it is great um, as Jacqueline, yeah, Jax. Uh, <clears throat> Ian, do you dive nitrox with side mount on recreational depths? Yes, I do, because I ha I'm extending my <clears throat> non-decompression limits and I'm extending my dive time limits. Basically, I have enough air and enough time based on the Nitro, uh, the nitrox intake in my body. So basically I extend it as much as I can. So I dive nitrox, yes. As much as I can, I mean, like whenever it's available, I would go for nitrox. Um, so yeah, Steve is asking anyone is using X-Deep. I, I want to try a razor. That's what I know. I think Melvin has Al Armadillo and I've tried, oh yeah, I've done my try dive on Apex, which again, it's it's, another good another good equipment it's just a different setup but it's yeah another another good piece of kit uh where are parents i don't know just i've left them in the pub <clears throat> they have their own small pub here in. uh i also enjoy single marathons yes. can be pleasant in the warm water cheers thanks between the regs first stages and standard first stages Mark Robertson is asking if there are any differences between side mount first stages and standard uh, first stages. Okay, so the answer is yes and no. No, because they are the same type of equipment, first stage regulator. It does the same thing if you do it, or if you if you attach it to a um, single cylinder, or if you attach it to a side mount cylinder. The thing is that I have a setup that is easy, that makes my diving easier on the side mount. Basically, I have rotating turret, which makes it easier to have my hose around my neck, and then I it's easy to stow it if I need to stow it, and this is not static and the other thing is there is a fifth low pressure port which makes it easier because when the the regulator is on my side this hose is feeding my dry suit or is feeding my wing if i have to have another hose it will be bent so this is just something that helps but it doesn't make it any good or worse with regards to what it does, you know, as uh, as effectiveness, it's effective. It, it it does the same thing. It's just the configuration. Um, all right. And Mark, length of hoses for Camelback BCD, much shorter and degree at mouth for better angle mouth. 
Uh, well, yeah, length of holes is, <clears throat> is you know, it's it, the, the short one or the long one. Again, they are they are different depending on how you would like to drive it. Uh, but yeah, basically, you know, that's that roughly it is. I mean, like the specifics are everyone can choose different different lengths for instance these are 60 centimeters you can dive 65 70 or or shorter depending on how you set up your equipment so it's it it allows for a great like a great am um, amount of flexibility how you set up your equipment and that's another thing i like because i like to basically try dif um, try different configurations in order to see what fits me so it's a lot of tweaking uh, Norman is asking, how do you compare the, uh, Norman is asking, wing and dry suit of left and right. This is something, I, okay, uh, Norman is asking, where do I feed my, from which cylinder I feed my wing. I have found that it's much better. No, no, it's much better. Um, at the moment, I'm feeding my wing from my right, from my left side. So I don't know if you see so I'm feeding my wing from my left side, but I know that a lot of people dive it from the right, uh, feed their wing from the right side. So it, it's more about how you can feel, what, what else do you use? Like, do you use like a torch? Do you use a, um, another cylinder um, or something else? So it's, I think it's more about um, like, how do you, how do you feel it? I know that there are a lot of people who say it's, safer or something like this but for me i've tried it on the right i've tried it on the left and for me i've seen okay it's much easier and another thing what people say is that your primary your primary buoyancy device basically controlling device would be fed from this from the left cylinder because if you want to give your right cylinder to your body because that's another benefit of it if you dive with someone someone on side mount you can actually take the cylinder and provide it to someone else if if they run out of air and you will still have your primary um, buoyancy control device fed from it and you can just clip off the the other so you choose you dive with the wing or with the dry suit you know what is your main control de uh, buoyancy device uh all right elkin thank you very much for the uh yeah it's again, yeah, this is one of the one of the options that yeah, main tank on first and it's on the left. Uh, I think Darren, Darren asked, how do you compare MTXR to XTX 200? To be honest, I prefer XTX um, um, uh, regulators because they are compact. The MTXRs for me are much are bulkier. They are made for really cold diving and I believe that they do the job uh, in cold diving, but for me, just the feeling of it, it's really, really uh, not uncomfortable, but they are like a, like a bulkier. So I, I have, I have a, a set of uh, XTX as well. And yeah, I love them. I dive with them as well. Uh, uh, David is asked, I, so I'll quickly go through the question because I don't know how much time we have. We have five more minutes, I think. There is a question from David. Do you have redundancy for your BCD and dry suit? Is it feed? Uh, oh, Norm. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, the, the video is mirrored. So I don't have redundancy for my BCD. There are, there are certain BCDs that you can have two bladders in them. I don't have. I use my... Uh, dry suit as a redundancy for my buoyancy so that's why I'm, I'm like I enjoy diving with, with a dry suit almost throughout the year this is what I use but there there are um, wings that that have two bladders one is redundancy and the other one is just the the one that you use throughout the dive um, do you correct your dry suit with the right first stage the encrypted zone is asking, do you correct your dry suit with the right first stage? Do you mean that if I use to inflate my dry suit with my right first stage? If that's the question, if I got it this way, 
yes, yes, that's what I do. That's what I do. So I inflate my wing on the left and my dry suit on the right. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, basically, yeah, that's it. And I think I think that's that's it with with that. If there are any more questions, you know, we're happy to answer. You've got the information you got from Mark. You can contact me anytime. So I think Mark, that's that would be it. Cool. Thanks very much, uh, Roscoe. That was uh, really insightful and useful to know. Um, obviously, we've got quite a few side mount divers already on here and sounds like yeah. they enjoy it as well but um as you quietly said said um we're happy to do tri dives for people if you go on from the tri dive to do the actual side mount course then you get half your money back for the side mount uh tri dive that you've done uh i think i mentioned before lake opens up on the 29th of march and pools should be opening fingers crossed from the 17th of uh, may um if you do Want to get any more information or you want us to start looking at booking you in for any of these tri dives uh, just drop us an email i put i did put the um, email address in the in the comments which is just info at oysterdiving.com uh, if any of you wanted prices i know a couple of you asking about yeah. FD for things like that which we obviously stock um just get in touch and we can send you either some ideas and some prices over for it as well um and i'd just like to say thank you to roscoe for his time and the effort he's clearly put into doing probably the poshest presentation I've seen for a long time. I haven't seen in that format yet. So <laughs> I'm going to be coming to you for a lesson on that one as well, I think. Yeah. Excellent. Just, thanks, Roscoe. And yeah, thanks to all that you've decided to spend your time, your evening tonight with, you know, listening to me. I'm really, really grateful and appreciate that.